We off the bye. We off the bye. It's Dallas week. Let's get it. You know, they say, uh, they say the two best teams in the NFC, probably the NFL right now, is the Saints and the Rams. All I saw from that game yesterday was a 45-35 point score. I saw weapons all over the field, no doubt, but I saw this as well. I saw defenses running around with a ch like a chicken with their head cut off, running around like they didn't know what the heck was going on, what the hell was going on. They didn't have a clue. It wasn't no defense yesterday. We're going to call that an defense game. That's what we're going to call that. That right there, that was just straight offense. It's like uh, like they was playing Red Dead Redemption 2 or something. Like, hey, shoot them up, bang, bang. We're going to pull out our... We're going to pull out our revolvers, and we're going to have us an old Wild Wild West shootout, baby. We ain't finna, you know, we ain't finna try to uh stop you. You know what I mean? I saw defense trying to be played yesterday, trying to be played. But I saw 80 points go up on the scoreboard. That's how they want to play the game. Yeah. Excuse me. Bless me, y'all. You know what I mean? So, but at the same time, what I got from it is, Jared Goff couldn't hide behind Ty Gurley. Couldn't nobody really stop Alvin Kamara. And Dominic and Sue. Aaron Donald. That's why I say Aaron Donald's not better than Fletcher Cox. Fletcher Cox don't fade away like that. Not like that. Not like that. Even, even when our journalists in Philly had to let y'all know. Les Bowen, he had to let y'all know. Listen, bro, when it comes to this right here, Fletch is not going to disappear. You're going to have to answer for him. You're going to have to block him. You're going to have to double team him. 91 in green. When we come down, because we're wearing green, uh, Sean Payton lost that bet to our coach, uh, Doug P. Dougie P, that we call him. Yeah, he lost that bet. So we'll be wearing green. We'll be wearing midnight green tops when we come down. So 91 in green. That's what y'all need to look out for. I believe we'll have Sydney, Sydney, uh, Sydney covering Kamara when he when he split out or whatever. You know, we need to make sure we have somebody speedy, rangy, somebody that can tackle, somebody tough, somebody nasty enough to get with him. Same thing with Mark Ingram. We have the horses to roll with Mark Ingram. Kamara is the only one that he has that elusivity. He can get out that backfield and do some things. He's not a Tyreek Hill, but you know they don't play the same position anyway. But I'm just saying, you know, as far as body type, as far as, you know what I mean, uh, shiftiness, he, he he ain't cheetah fast. You know what I mean? He's not cheetah fast. That's a story for another day with the Chiefs. The only thing I say about the Chiefs is this, what I gathered from their game yesterday. Patrick Mahomes, he he's still rolling. Three touchdowns, still rolling. They said Wentz, Mahomes, golf. I believe they got that right. They gave the head nod to Wentz because he's been doing it for three years. They gave the head nod to Wentz because of his physical prowess, his uh, command of the huddle, pre-snap reads. That offense is his you-know-what, y'all. This is third year in that offense, not his first year starting, second year in the league. No, 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 no. This is his third year in this offense. See what I'm saying? So you saw this over a period of time at least over those other two guys, Jared Goff, he didn't do much his rookie year. Came back second year, didn't win a playoff game. He played in a playoff game. Carson didn't. He wasn't healthy. See what I'm saying? So with Carson being healthy this year, you guys will see what he is all about come playoff time when the lights are bright. It ain't a big game that he don't show up. Carson always shows up for us. So I'm trying to figure out why y'all keep on trying to lean towards that. Once we knock that out the way, I'm trying to figure out what y'all going to go to next. Then y'all probably be like, oh, well, he need to win another Super Bowl before we put him in the GOAT category. It's like, bro, y'all be talking about the GOAT category after four years? Come on now. After three years? Come on now. We're heading into year four? Come on, man. Let's watch some careers play out first before we get to doing all that. So what I'll say about the Chiefs is this. You don't want Patrick Mahomes to turn into no Peyton Manning. I'm not saying that's what he is. But that's what folks will call him if he break that record, go into the playoffs, lose first round or first game that they play. See what I'm saying? You cannot afford to drop that game. That's what it comes down to at the end of the day. You guys can't afford to drop that game. You know, as far as the Rams, 
Y'all defense didn't show up on the road. That's a tough place to play. We'll see about it in another week. In a whole other week. I mean, two weeks, two weeks. But next week, we will be turning our attention towards the Saints. Right now, it's Dallas week. I know I'm coming at y'all with a lot of info, a lot of content. I ain't made no video in a minute. A couple days. So, we'll uh, we'll work out these kinks during the week. You know, we, we'll turn our attention towards them Cowboys. You know what I mean? Since they like to, you know, call themselves Cowboys. That name just, I don't know, that name weird to me. You know, I'd rather be an Eagle, baby. Huh. I'd rather be an Eagle, baby. Because we fly. You know what I'm saying? We fly. Don't nobody mistake us between no boys and no men. It's the men in green coming at you. We coming at you. Straight like that. Straight like that. Golden Tate is a cowboy killer. Hmm. We'll be looking for him to do that. We'll be looking for him to do that. It'll be a decoy or whatever he needs to be. You know what I mean? You just stay upright. Just stay upright, big dog. And we, hey, we going big places. We got bigger fish to fry. We got bigger fish to fry. Saw Washington yesterday. Wasn't impressed. Wasn't impressed. Saw them go down to Atlanta. They went down to Atlanta at the house. Man, at the house. Atlanta couldn't even score 20 points on us. Past three times Atlanta has played us, they, hasn't, they haven't scored 20 points on us in a game. Let that settle in for a minute. Then you look at Washington. Okay. Okay. Nothing scares us. Nothing scares us about the Rams. Nothing scares us about the Saints. When we step on the field, champs are on the field. When we step on the field, those other teams, they're going to play above their head. They're going to play above their head. It's time. It's just time for us to just start matching that intensity. No matter where we play, we can go to Saturn. We can go to Mars and play. Guess what? Turn it up. Bring your game. Bring your game. We bring our game Sunday night at the link. We be fine. We be fine. We're going to talk about the Cowboys before we turn our attention towards the Saints. And then we'll start getting ready for our next matchup. It's one week at a time, though. One week at a time. I hear a lot of fans talking this and talking that. Super Bowl don't start next week. Playoffs don't start next week. Mm. It's a lifetime ahead of us, fellas. It is a lifetime ahead of us. Strap into your seat. Strap your seatbelt on. Put it on. You know what I'm saying? Just like I'm about to do. You know what I'm saying? Put that seatbelt on. Because guess what? This is going to be a wild-ass ride. This is going to be a wild-ass ride. Hope y'all ready. My mama a Cowboys fan. My, my, my lady. My children's mom is a Cowboys fan. The lady I'm going to marry someday is a Cowboys fan. You see what I'm saying? But just because we family, that don't mean that we, mm -mm. we don't follow the same team. No. I can separate that. I can compartmentalize that. You know? But when it comes to this right here, this football, this is a team I rock with, baby. This is a team I rock with, baby. You throw the flag in my cat casket when I die. Go on, throw it up in there so I can be fly to the day I die. Fly, Eagles, fly, baby. We doing this Dallas week. It is on. Ain't no love lost. Come on with it. Come on with it. We finna see what Dak Prescott talking about. He gonna try to hide behind 21. We gonna see. 